there, Director of Constituent Services for Assemblymember Donna Lopardo. Our Binghamton uh, General Manager, he's in the back there, Dan English. We so thank for this beautiful building behind us. And for the beautiful green light sign over here on the building. Uh, we have a green light LaChase joint venture with LaChase Construction and Adam Green, who's the president of that, is here in the back today as well. And then special guest, West Side resident, green light customer, and our CEO's mom, Patty Murphy. <laughs> Thank you. So with that, it's my pleasure to introduce Mark Murphy, Greenlight CEO, who founded the company nearly 11 years ago, originally from Binghamton. Mark. I'm Patty Murphy's son, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm also the CEO and founder of Greenlight Networks. Uh, this is a great day for us here at Greenlight. Uh, we're very proud to be here, and I think you'll be, uh, we're really proud of the facility you'll get a chance to see today, as well as the work uh, that our team is doing around the area and all over the state. Um, as Michelle noted, I'm from Binghamton. I'm a proud graduate of Seton Catholic Central High School. I'm not going to tell you the year, <laughs> but I guarantee you it's not as late as you think it might be. <laughs> um, so today we're here to celebrate the grand opening of our new 5,000 square foot facility here. The look and feel is very similar to all of our green light facilities uh, in Rochester, soon to be in Buffalo and Albany as well. Um, and it's, it's a great environment for our employees to work in and we're very proud of it. Uh, in this office, we've got a number of different folks working here. Uh, we've got our engineering team, our marketing team, our service delivery team revenue assurance, field technicians, construction, and uh, as Michelle noted, our Greenlight LaChase uh, partnership employees that are working to serve uh, this area of the state. Uh, we currently have 25 employees here in this office, which is just about double of what we had uh, not quite a year ago when we did the, the Plexicom acquisition. So we continue to look to add to our construction teams, to our field technician teams in the near term and, and, and more as we continue to grow in the area. Uh, you know, this region is, is one we're going to invest about $50 million in over the next few years. Uh, that's a significant investment by our investors and our ownership group, and our team's going to work really hard to, to get that network built as quickly as we can. Uh, but it's, it's a great undertaking. We've got to, uh, if, if you've looked around the neighborhood, if you've driven around the west side of Binghamton and Johnson City or, or Endwell, you may have noticed a whole lot of utility work that's going on in preparation for that to happen. O'Connell Electric is one of our contractors that's doing a lot of that work. So we're replacing a whole lot of utility poles and building out a whole lot of new utility infrastructure, which is great for the region. It'll make the re those, that infrastructure more reliable. And, um, and not just for our stuff, but for the electric grid as well. Um, and just to note, I, when, we, when we did this deal, and we, we, Dan, and I, Dan and I started talking about this uh, three, or, three or four years ago, maybe even longer now, um, this is our hope, is that we would be able to take the good work that he and his team have done here and be able to expand on it much more quickly than he could by himself or that we could had we come in. So uh, this is working out just as we had hoped and maybe even better and we look to continue to, to do that across the area. Um, as you can see on the, the maps next to me, uh, we, we've got work already underway in the west side of Binghamton, in Johnson City, in Owego, in Enwell, and in Endicott. Um, so as you can see, pretty big geographical areas that will continue to expand over the next few, over the next two years. Uh, our goal is to connect up to 50,000 homes in the area in that period of time, which, which is a whole lot of construction, and, and that's why you see so many folks behind, uh, behind us here who are going to be doing all, most of that work, along with a lot of local contractors, uh, and creating a whole lot of jobs. And, you know, to do, to do that, we've already applied to get on 8,700 utility poles. Um, a good portion of those we're going to have to replace. So this is major construction. This is a whole lot of work. Um, it's 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 a lot of infrastructure being built here that we're investing in this community. So 
how do you get green light? And I'm happy to say my mother's got the service, so she's not asking me when she's going to get it, which is a lot of pressure off my head. Uh, so Dan, thanks for getting that done early on. Um, so the best way to, to see how you can get green light and get our service is to go to our website, greenlightnetworks.com. Um, by doing that, you'll be able to get regular emails and updates from our marketing team as to what's going on in your specific green light district as well as around the community. Uh, also follow us on social media. We'll have a lot of updates there as well on our Facebook page, on Twitter, and on Instagram. Some of those I use, some of those I don't. Um, you know, we, we see a whole lot of demand already in the market, and it's not a surprise. We think this market is one, like many in New York, that is looking for competition. Uh, I think people look at their cable bill, and what I would say is if you're paying more than $50 a month and you're getting less than 500 megabits per second, please go to our website, give us a chance. We think we'll be really happy with the service that you get here. Um, you know, our mission is to give the residents of, of Binghamton and all of New York and beyond uh, a differentiated service. We know through the pandemic how important uh, access to the internet is, and especially when you've got multiple, multiple devices and multiple people trying to learn uh, watch watch uh, videos, maybe have some fun, maybe learn some things, and, and frankly, just basically do work. Um, this is a lifeline for many folks. It's their income stream, and we take that responsibility very, very seriously. So it's it's always encouraging when we reach out to a community, and its its municipal leaders um, are very eager and welcoming to uh, to bring us into the market. So with that, I'd like to welcome Deputy. County Executive Michael Panicello. Good morning, thank you. Uh, County Executive Jason Garner sends his uh, regrets that he could not be here in person this morning. Um, but on his behalf, it's uh, my pleasure to officially welcome Greenlight Networks to Broome County. The County Executive, our Department of Planning, um, and a number of our community partners are currently in the process of ensuring that all 200,000 residents of Broome County have access to high-speed internet. When you come and visit some of our areas, some of our community, in particular some of our rural areas, they do not have high-speed internet service. Um, and they do not have a, a service that's enough for them to um, go to school or work from home. And during the pandemic we heard these stories of people having to take their children to McDonald's or to Dunkin Donuts and to get high-speed internet for them to, to go to school and to do work. And in 2022, that's unacceptable. For everyone in Broome County, they should be able to work, go to school, communicate, shop, and have high-speed internet right in their home. So we are thrilled that Greenlight Networks is expanding here in Broome County. Um, and it's an important part to your ongoing efforts here to bring that in high-speed internet service to the community, to all of our 200,000 residents. So on behalf of Broome County, Jason Gar uh, County Executive Jason Garner, I want to present a certificate to you welcoming Greenlight Networks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stacey Duncan, President and CEO of our Leadership Alliance. Yes, uh, my name is Stacey Duncan. I am CEO of the Leadership Alliance, which is a strategic partnership between the Greater Binghamton Chamber of Commerce and the agency, the Broome County IDA. And we did put this order in for this weather a few weeks ago, and it came to fruition. We've had actually a great week with some tremendous announcements here in Broome County, and we're thrilled to add this one to the list. So congratulations, Mark, to you and the Greenlit team, to Dan, to Adam. I can't think of a better partnership. We do so much with the Chase as well, and we know what a, a fabulous partner they are. Congratulations on your success, not just you know in Binghamton, but in, throughout <coughs> upstate New York. We're thrilled to have you come back uh, to, to Binghamton to, to set up this office and to double do your job count is, is all, you know, that those are the kind of things we, we want to support here in the community. And, you know, during COVID, as we all saw, uh, we really redefined what the vital infrastructure was that we focused on. We saw this debate happen at the federal and state and the local level. It's really no longer an option uh, to, to, not, to not have quality accessible, affordable, and seamless internet service. It is the way commerce is done now uh, so much on a daily basis. It's, the, it, it's what connects us to the world. 
Um, and so to have an option like Greenlight, a quality company come in to provide that choice, to provide that access, and to provide that option for us, I think it's going to be uh, tremendous for the residents of, of Greater Binghamton and for our business community. So um, we just would like to continue to say thank you for being here. Thank you for your membership to the chamber. Thank you for your support of our community. And you have a committed partner uh, with the Leadership Alliance. And with that, I would like to present to you also a plaque congratulating you on your grand opening. speaker who uh, who has been a tremendous leader for us on the topic of broadband and accessibility. Jen Gregory, who's the executive director of Southern Tier 8. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. So yes, I'm with Southern Tier 8 Regional Board. The 8 stands for the eight counties that we work with across the Southern Tier. And as Stacy mentioned, we started a broadband collaborative um, raising awareness for the need of this during the pandemic with the eight counties, aligning the federal investments, some that are underway and more to follow. This Friday there will be an announcement for additional funds available through NTIA. And working across these eight counties, I can tell you I've worked with several providers in the past, exploring where their build-out plans are, and Mark, thank you, you've brought in together the best team we have available. Welcome to Binghamton, thank you for coming back. Dan, thank you for working on this. I'm absolutely <coughs> thrilled. We have the best team here for the community. So I'm ecstatic to welcome them to the Binghamton area to grow. I'm thrilled with the investment across our region, the jobs that you've already brought in, additional partners who I know have been working throughout the community for a long time to see this happen. Thank you and welcome. Uh, thanks to all of our speakers. This does conclude the formal remarks portion of this event. We are in a moment going to cut the ribbon. Um, after that, all of our speakers will be available off camera for interviews and one-on-one. -on -one. We also have an open house where light refreshments will be served. We can give you a tour of our new facility. There's a very interesting tech room that actually shows the setup of a, of a pole and the fiber and how it's run and how it connects to your home. So I encourage you to go check that out as well. And as you'll see in your gift bag, Binghamton just got speedier. So we're very happy that we made it here. And with that, I invite our speakers and Dan English to come up and cut the ribbon.